Ching, ching, ching. I feel like it's not a complete TMI episode if we don't have wine. Do you get turned on watching your man drive? I love that. I don't yeah. know. There's something about watching him. Maybe it's because his car is big. So That's a this, really big car. Look, yeah, it's a yeah. really big car. It's like, this big machine. But like tonight, it's this big machine. Oh, be good big. tonight. <laughs> A mom without deodorant, you guys are playing. And you know you're uh-uh. sweating before you, you guys are playing. The house. I know we all been there. When your man walks to the house and you're just like, mm, and clean. it's just like the hygiene mm. is just like, mm, mm. you know, he just looks. Yeah. You I know, take care hmm, of myself. Exactly. That's very attractive. Hey guys, Marugi Muni here. It's Lydia KM. And we're back again with another episode of The Messy In Between. It's, it's definitely, definitely TMI. TMI. You are so intentional. TMI. TMI. What should I have said? Yeah, TMI. It was like TMI. T-M-I. Period. Which stands Period. for the messy in between the, in case you're new who, here, by for, the way. For the 90% of you <laughs> who don't know. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of The Messy In Between, TMI Podcast KE. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you so much guys for always returning. Majority of you always return. See, we said. Exactly. And You're yet, always here. And yet, percent imagine, subscribed. guys, please subscribe. And yet, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Tell to your, your neighbor, channel. subscribe, your cousin, your, your mom, auntie. and even your mom-in-law. Log Tell into your all. friend's account and subscribe. Otherwise, you're not a true fan. Are you a really, are you a queen between are, a really? Are you? Are yeah. Yeah. You know, um, every time you say that, you're cutting out our the five percent who are king between us. You always say that, but now, see, you always represent them. Yeah, but I mean, you need to incorporate. And she's them. the you one know, who invented all... queen between us. Yeah, because it wow. was Women's Day. It wow. was Women's Day. Said, oh, is that why? Yes. But then when I came back on the page, everyone's just like queen between us. Queen yeah, between because of course everybody's identifying with like if they are female, they are saying that. But you know, the men who are here, but they are, they are fans, but they don't want to say anything. Can you and not now just when I say queen, them. you say king? Okay, king between us. Queen between us. In between us. In Yay! between us. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> um, Thank you so much, guys, for all your love on our last episode. Mm-hmm. Did you love it? I the, loved it yeah? so much. Yeah. Every time that I feel like mm. we are doing something to help other people. Yeah. As much as like it aligns with our purpose, mm. it's something we love to do, and it's something that's helping other people. A hundred percent, I'm down for and it. And for the people who are always saying things like, you know, there's this Insta, um, Insta therapist, YouTube therapist, or whatever, we're mm. definitely not therapists for sure. Mm. Mm. So whatever you're gonna share with us, we try to give you the knowledge we st- yeah. we st- have, not the knowledge of the world, just mm. the knowledge that we have personally. Exactly. Um, and I think we do a pretty good friend to friend, job. friend yes. to friend, not ah. like not like person above you to you. It's Absolutely friend to not. friend. Yeah. Even mm. us, we come here with our yeah, ghetto I mean, messes who, as well. Girl, girl we, we also going through it. Yeah, mm-hmm. make sure you are following us on our socials, Lady KM, Murugi Muni, and TMI Podcast KE. Especially on our TMI Podcast page, we take you through everything the shooting process, um, the BTSs, mm. everything that happens with our amazing production team, Art Light. I was mm-hmm. going to say Art Life. I know. Art, Art Light, Light Studios. studios yeah. um, our amazing PA, all our little blah, blah, blah. Mm. We do that. Even our, our outfits, or like if you ever want to know, like, what are we wearing? Which yes, where do who we get did the your Hair, blah, 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 blah. Exactly. Go to our Instagram. Go we to always, our Instagram page. Yeah. Yes. So today we're talking about something really fun. First of all, we, when I started thinking about them, I was already like, mm, "Where's my man? Where is he?" Like, hey. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. I was also like, "Should I call him?" Right. Oh, I just text him. I tell him, "Man." So <laughs> um, so today we are talking about what are our biggest turn-ons and based on obviously who you are attracted to, that's who we're referring to, but we're going to be having the conversation as per man exactly, because we are both yeah. in heterosexual but, relationships. But just thinking about it, we should probably have a man over or men over to mm. talk about their turn-ons in women. Boom. Who should we have? Tell us. Who should we have? Tell us in the comments right who now, should we have right now. Mm. Um, two guys who we should have, to, who should we... Who, <laughs> <laughs> Take Take a a <laughs> who we should invite so that they can tell us what are the turn-ons in, in women. women exactly yeah mm. and let me tell you I think because we are always telling women you know be empowered don't take mm. shit from men blah 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 we are getting this reputation like we are anti-men Ooh, right not, somebody told me that her man was like oh you're, you're listening, listening to those girls, girls. You're, <laughs> you're listening you to those girls me. again you're listening <laughs> Um, but that's but not the case. such nice men But things. of course, people just select what they people want just select, to yeah. just make up whatever story so, that they, yeah. that's, that whatever narrative is convenient. But mm. anyway, we wanted to just talk about some of the things that turn us on about men in general or about the men that we are with, you know, yeah. and also kind of celebrate them because guess what? No matter how much we make noise, it's an amazing thing to be in a situation with someone who you're yeah. happy with and you feel good about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right. men are trash, but I love men. 
I, I don't even affirm men are trash. I feel like men, men I refuse. I, you refuse, it's fine. Mm. Me, I feel like I feel like men are great, but men are trash at the same time. Like there's so many characters in men, and I'm just like, why are you the way that you are? Yeah. But then also, I love men so much. Yeah. I love my man. It, it, I, I love don't know about man. men. men. <laughs> I love, I my, love man. my man. <laughs> I don't know. But my man. <laughs> I, I love, love my man. I love yeah. it. So um, I will start. Um, okay. The first thing for me is confidence, right? Um, And I used to think that the kind of You just told my first one. I told no, you that was my is, first yours one. Yours is surety. Which is the same thing as confidence. Oh, okay. Just go on. You go ahead. So she no, had told fine. me. It's okay. No, go say. You explained it so well as well. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah. Okay, fine. Really so nice. I had described mine as like surety slash confidence. Basically. She definitely didn't man, say slash confidence. I didn't. <laughs> no, she Imagine, did not. Imagine, look, I didn't listen it here as surety. Look, surety, confidence. That's so weird. So weird. Okay, anyway, fine. so just goes to show this is just a major turn on. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's one thing that makes me wet, mm-hmm. it is a man who is sure. Who will, like, he'll, like, he, with the way he speaks, you can mm-hmm. tell that he's not a man of, like, do I like this? Do I not like this? Do I want this? Mm-hmm. Do I not want this? Do I, like, he's he, he's an, an able decision mm-hmm. maker. You know, mm-hmm. he knows what he wants from a small thing as, like, this is what I want to wear today or this is what I feel like eating mm-hmm. to something as big as, like, this is my career path and yeah. this is, like, what I believe in and this is, you know, the kind of place that I like to be in. Mm-hmm. I love that. I yeah. love that so much. So let me tell you, um, a thing which I found, first of all, I used to believe confidence is, like, what I've always known confidence, which is more, like, out there, loud. Yes. Mm-hmm. That that's what I thought confident, what confidence was. Mm-hmm. But what... I found a different thing in confidence I didn't even know existed um, in a man is a man who he doesn't care what the society rules are. Mm. Like he just does what he does, yeah. right? It's like, oh, we, we should have moved in. Says who? Yeah. That is my question to me all the time when I say no, but we should do. He's like, but who but said that? Who? No, who said that? Calm down. Yeah. Calm your titties. I can yeah. tell. <laughs> tell you are two seconds away from texting Mike <laughs> yeah. right now. <laughs> He's like, who said that? Yeah. You know, Mike lives in this way of his life. He's like, I just do what feels right. We should do in our relationship mm. what feels right to mm. us. Everything else is just like what people say. And then like, um, there was this this one time um, when, you know, everyone was coming at me for uh, moving in with Mike. Never forget. Yeah. And Mike you know, was... watch that episode of like, should you move in with your... I think the episode was about should you move in with your partner, right? Or, oh, it was, was all it? about moving in with your partner and what well, I think it was something like that. Or like habits. Mm-mm. I think somewhere it's somewhere there. Go find it. It's Go some, find it's it. It's somewhere there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and then he was just like, but everyone is going to speak from their life experience. Mm. Period. Mike always kind of b- brings everything down to this is your life. This is what you're doing. Do it the way you want to do it. Mm. And that's such an amazing um, aspect of confidence I never really saw. And sometimes I feel like I don't have that as much. Yeah. yeah I feel like I there's so many shoulds that I sometimes place myself. Not the ones we rebel against. Yeah. We have the ones we, we have rebel against. Yeah, but there's the other ones. ones. And which actually you don't even there. realize they are shoulds. Mm-hmm. But they actually are there and sometimes they actually rule they your life guide and you don't even you realize. all the time. Girl, yeah. you're so right. So yeah, confidence. Mm. Yeah, 10 so out right. of 10. Okay, fine. This one mm. is like, I feel like a really, really huge one for me. Mm. A well-dressed man. Mm-hmm. A well-dressed man yeah. is just such a turn on for me. Like a guy who just knows how his body is and not necessarily like at he wearing the things that people, or something expensive or wearing the things that mm. people expect a well-dressed man mm. to, to dress as. Yeah. But like he just looks good. Clean. He just looks good. Like, and it's just like the hygiene mm. is just like, mm, mm. you know, they just, he just looks yeah, I you know, take care mm, of myself. Exactly. That's very attractive. So Ex- f- mm. for me, I don't need it to be necessarily so done up, mm. right? Um, Because I was definitely, I had relations with somebody who was very much into the way that they dressed. And I just yeah. thought it was like just too much for me for a guy. Yeah, quite extreme. Mm? Yeah, I think it's a extreme. bit extreme. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I need you to, to care about Yeah, the care about your care. appearance, like um, like um, like dressing well, you know, like mm. d- decently. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely attractive. When I, when I first met Zach, when we were working at the same mm. place, his, his dressing was like very mediocre, almost yeah. bad. Mm. It wasn't bad, but it was mediocre. But the fact that he was just so almost tall, bad. <laughs> tall, dark and handsome, like I could and see just beyond dressed, that. Yeah. I could see beyond and I was just like, this man has money. And Sierra and her, he? and her man. Right, exactly. Russell's. And I was just like, but me, I could see there was mm. potential. I was like, I can just tell that you're the kind of person who's just like, why should I go shopping? He mm. literally had the same five shirts that he would wear week in, week out. Like this week, he's wearing those five shirts. Next week, he'll wear the same five shirts, but in a different order. Like, it was husband just like, is Kikuyu. It's can giving you tell? bare minimum. Exactly. Can and you I'm just tell? like, why, why are you doing so basic? So anyway, when we started mm. dating, I used to take it upon myself to be like, okay, he so he he has the potential to look good in clothes. He just didn't know about the shopping. So now That's I took it upon myself. Interest, exactly. Yeah. And mm. since then, by the way, I'm that who dresses my man. And mm. I love, I love seeing him like just put together an outfit yeah he, he just walks through the door mm. in that casuit and you're mm. just like <laughs> 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 
wow, Nancy, do you have to be the... <laughs> Be the MC. Be the, the MC of the episode. Yet again. No, but I know we all been there. I know we all been there. When your man walks to the house and you're just like, mm, mm, but mm, mm, we are mm. in very different situations, mm. right? Because your man is never in a suit. And no, you know, <laughs> my man is Luo. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So he mm. knows how to dress. He knows what he wants to... Oh, sorry. Are we generalizing? Are you generalizing? Are we are generalizing. Much? We're definitely but gen- generalizing. But, still, but to yes. be honest, we but to, be to be honest, true. But to, to be true, right? So Mike is not somebody who you, you need to shop. In fact, I cannot shop for Mike. Ooh. I need to tell him, like, babe, do you like this? Ooh. Because when I take it at home, now, nah, wow. please. Seriously? Yeah. yeah, so if it's shopping, you just be like, oh, this looks nice. Yeah, this, mm-hmm. but mm-mm, him, he just knows. But yeah, exactly. I will just be like, you can pick for me five shirts or whatever. Oh, and then when he wears God. them, I'm just like, wow, I love it. I love the fact that he trusts me with such decisions. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, This is um another one. Some of mine are a bit more specific. Mm-hmm. Um, Physical, that is. When he slaps my ass. Oh, I am awake. During sex or uh, like, uh, oh, just like ordinary just, life? <laughs> yeah. I know. I love that. <laughs> hey, I'm going to bring for us tissue, you guys. <laughs> um, and it's just like, you know, very normal, whatever. And it's just yeah. like, and not just like touching, just like an intentional pop. Yeah. I'm like, what? Uh, what what you, you want? You, 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 you did. I'm going to stop cooking this food. I'm going to stop cooking this food. Zach, what he does is like, it's less of a, a slap, more of like a grab. Like a you know, grab. Like, more of like a, yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna Listen, you. Yeah, it's really bad. nice. Yeah, I love that. I love yeah. that. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Oh God. Okay, fine. Mine also. All of mine are also very physical ones, mm. but I love when a man shows PDA. Oh yeah, I love it. Like you. not excessive. Yeah, not like excessive, but like I love when we're out in public and like you reach and hold my hand, yeah. or he puts his arm around you, yeah. or like is just. By the way, as much as Joe kind of, she, yeah. Joe's not a very PDA person, by the way. PDA person, yeah. but I like it. I like when mm. it's like, you show some sort of like, mm. you know, I'm enjoying being mm. out with you. Mm. I want people to know that I'm with you. You mm. know, I'm here for mm. you. I'm, you know, I'm next to you. Mm. I just, I love that feeling mm. of like closeness. I yeah. really like that. And I like a man who is not afraid to show that, that level of like intimacy or like, you know, like connection with you yeah. in public, in front of other people. Oh, I really for love that. sure. Yeah, that's I definitely that um, so attractive. Mm. Um, I think um, one of the things that it's close to that as well like maybe like when you're walking down and he ho- he takes your hand to hold it yeah. while you walk or like because it's really crossing a road yeah and, and it's, it's like, like <laughs> let's walk like, to our future oh, together <laughs> i love you because i don't know how to walk <laughs> i don't know how to run on the road <laughs> It's so cute and intimate. Love, also, by the way, some of these ones that we are reading, we asked you guys on Instagram. Yeah, some of the ones them. I'm going to exactly. do. Yeah. So thank you guys for sharing. So yeah, we are, some of them are like ours and then some of them are also yours. We love that you're contributing. Yeah, some of you guys episode. have added to confidence, um, yeah. as we said. And mm-hmm. um, then somebody is saying, um, there is this scent that men have, kind of ma- masky. It's very intoxicating. Ooh, yeah. Your man it. smell when it's not it's the just, fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it still has the lingering effect of the, the cologne that... They yeah, so it's like a mix something. of like I have worked hard for you yes, to make but money I for did you. shower initially. But also I did. <laughs> yeah. There, was, I, I, there was water <laughs> in the beginning of the day. And then it has the cologne. In fact, me, I love that's like one of my favorite times to have sex. Is like immediately after before you're clean. Work, before you're perfect, yeah. it's just and it just smells like there's something. Magic. Can I do a spanner in the work? Yeah. <laughs> See so you throw. Do you like the smell of your man's balls? You know, it's something we're going to have to live with. It's something we live with. <laughs> we don't love it, but we need, let me tell you, there's no way that that a, a sack of balls that is rubbing the whole day between someone's thighs can smell good. I feel like even after a shower, yeah. I don't think they're going to smell amazing. You know, can I tell you something? I'm not giving head at the end of the day before a shower. <laughs> doing it. No, let me speak. Okay. I like it. The, la- the last Good time, night. I, that's what Mm-mm. Aggie said. Mm-mm. The last time, Aggie was like, What, what are you talking about? Yeah, this is no, your, no this not is, that's just trauma. And no. we need to unpack, we need to unpack that. You like the smell of his balls, what him specifically? I don't oh, know what it is. God. You know, honestly, <laughs> when a woman loves a man, she can, <laughs> she can love anything. I just, do you know what? Stop judging me. I'm judging you 100%. God, because you don't actually like it, it doesn't smell nice. Does no, it smell nice? what is it's, it's, it's something like it's, it's just like the smell of. That musky smell. It's not nice. It's not like, ooh, let's make a cologne out of this. But, <laughs> but it's... <laughs> 
but it's um, it's it's something. It feels like there's something that you lean into. What about me? That's what Myth. I okay, like. Maybe it. it feels nasty. There's a there's nastiness something. to it that is just kind of like this and is so intimate that no one, no outside person <laughs> can be able to really take this. But me, yeah, I'm the, yeah, in the I'm in the trenches. There's literally. something. There's something about him. Anyway, I was telling Libby mm. another day that how there was this man that mm. I once I wouldn't say we dated, but mm. we were involved, you know, mm. and he didn't believe in like cologne. He didn't believe in 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 soap. He didn't Toothpaste. believe in lotion. He didn't believe in like using anything which is processed. So he only like when if it's bathing, it's water. There's nothing about cologne. You just bathe with your shower. water, and then you, he would shower. Yes, so no, just water, no soap. Even if it's like this natural soap, no, he would only use water. So you can imagine what this man smelled like and looked like. <sighs> Unfortunately <laughs> for me, the D was so good that I I withstood it. Oh I I withstood it. God. I did. I know, but I will just say that cologne is very important in the life of a man. And like underarm spray. Oh, and, whoa, and a man Dio. without deodorant. You guys I mean, are playing. And you know, you're uh, sweating. Before you guys are playing. House, yeah, you guys are joking. And you know, yeah, some actually that when you wear deodorant, actually you need soap. No, uh, you need soap. <laughs> You guys know. Soap is an essential. Mm, you even need toothpaste, soap. you guys. He even toothpaste. He used to be like, no, he's brushing his teeth, but just with water. Yeah. What are you brushing? Yeah, it was it was almost like a religious stance for him. He was just like, all these things have chemicals. You don't know how they're affecting your body and stuff. So he can't But I said, it. that's the one who eats bacon, doesn't it? Who flips Probably. on that sausage. <laughs> Let's have it. <laughs> English breakfast. No, but remember, even <laughs> in this, in Love is Blind, <laughs> there was that guy who was like, he makes his own soap. He makes his, his own, own toothpaste. toothpaste. Yeah. What was his name again? Yeah, the that other guy. one I remember. Anyway, it's weird. That's a red flag. That's yeah, a red flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the one who just said that. All right, one. fine. Um, this is um somebody else who's saying he, when he pays attention and is consistent with me, walks Ooh. in power. Walks in power. Yeah, consistent. Consistent. That word. That honestly, word is such a turn on. Honestly, yeah. but guess what? Funny enough, mm. I uh, my last relationship was he was consistent. I would never say I ever complain about communication, about being called, mm. about being a nothing, but just consistent in BS Indeed. as well. <laughs> a fucking yeah, asshole. So it's not always just consistency, but when yeah. somebody's consistently good, mm. it's amazing. Actually, there's plenty of times that um, sometime in my relationship, Mike would do something and I I see that I, it's like I almost think that he was only doing that in the beginning. And then it makes me feel like I'm surprised mm. that he's still doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's such an interesting thing about people who have been through like your dad maybe wasn't as consistent and then your man is just like, it's just like wow it's yeah. an amazing amazing Strange. feeling I don't know my other one is like mm. it's almost similar to that mm. but a man who keeps his word a man who Everything. says I will be home at 6 or I and will pick you up at, at six. 6 and they will pick you up at 6 like for me I feel like I know that one is like based on my trauma because I remember so many times my dad would be like he's coming to pick us up to take us somewhere and he never would show up oh, you know sorry. or like he's like it's your birthday and he's like yeah I'm going to come then we can cut the cake and he doesn't come and so right now oh my gosh, even, I didn't know this oh yeah so many instances I'm so, so sorry. now when I got married I used oh. to find it so strange first of all that Zach would come home like I mean, the sun has not even set and the man is home. And I'm just mm. like, even you, what's wrong with you? Like, and other men outside doing things that men are supposed to be doing. And I was like, Joanne, you know, that's your trauma. Because in wow. your mind, you've never seen, I'd never seen mm. a man mm. come home and spend the evening with his family. Yeah. It's, in fact, it was awkward because my dad was never home in the evening with us, you know? That's very interesting. So these days when like, Zach, if Zach says, for example, he's going to be home at seven, then he doesn't come at seven. I find myself sometimes getting so angry, mm. like not even giving him okay. the space to be able to whatever. But now we've gotten better at like, he mm. communicates and he's like, oh, I know I said seven, but I'm delayed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be home mm -hmm. at eight, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And I find that so important so for yeah. me that's it makes me wet when you say something mm. and you do it yeah in that same in that same breath mm. i would say um mine is the the feeling that my man wants to be home with me more than he wants to do anything else oh yeah like there's so many things he could be doing he could be out yeah. he could be whatever but he just wants to be home with me mm. i love that I love that, that is such an amazing, it's such a good feeling because I guess the idea that we know is like, men, their family is like this must thing. Exactly. This thing that they have yeah, to have do to. is like, oh, I just don't want and trouble. And like society has told us that, you know, kind mm -hmm. of things like, how do you want to get, keep your man home? In fact, I remember another time Safaricom was running a, 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 a campaign about mm -hmm keeping your man home or something like mm. that or like making your home so exciting so that they, you put like football so that now your man you, he can now watch and I remember looking at that ad and I was just like I I don't know if this is the message because why can't he just want to be home yeah, because the I'm there. To be, oh yeah. Because I'm oh, there. Yeah. No. No. You, you, he ah. must be interested in you and being at the pub watching the game you know. Why would, it ever why would he be? ever yeah. 
You know, and so, I feel like that's a lie. Yeah. And I think the relationships that we have now, like mm. we're evolving to a place where being at home is because it's your choice. Yeah, we chose to have we this home. To, exactly. Yeah, I, I think that's that. a really I good one. Do you get turned on watching your man drive? I feel like I do. It, it, there, there is some maneuvers. There's it's some not. Every, it's <laughs> not like this. Like, and the whole time I'm like, you know what? There's some maneuvers. Like, this is like a reverse, like reverse or yeah. the, you know, or like some key thing. You're just like, I know, like okay, yeah, you're in control. Yeah. So you're in control. Yeah. I love that. I don't yeah. know. There's something about watching him. Maybe it's because his car is big. So like just watching him is just like, oh, that's a this, really big car. Look, yeah, it's a yeah. really big car. I'm just like, look at this big machine. But like tonight, it's this big machine. Oh, you're gonna be good deep. tonight. You know what, John? <laughs> <laughs> Machine Kuba Kuba too. Huku. Mm-hmm. Someone says when he randomly does sweet things for you without you, um, without you or uh, um, asking, asking him. Yeah. So and me, I we said that. it's just mm. like it's so sweet. Mm. It really is. But I don't know if I'm that tied to mm. because I haven't asked. You yeah. know me. I feel like I am just as joyous because loving me is unique to me. You mm. know. Mm. So it's like I, I don't. I don't necessarily feel like it, that's something someone has to have. But it's very nice when somebody just decides like, oh. Today I bought you flowers just because those are very oof, those are very sweet. They're yeah. really nice. But mm. I even me, I I feel like there's a part of like young girls mm. of us when we we're young girls who really wanted that, who really wanted For that. You, you just need to know yeah. how to love but me. But now yeah. when you, you're grown up, mm. like I I had to let go of that because Zach is not he's the kind of person who will a hundred percent do something for you that he knows you want. Yeah. But he's but not he the one who's know. going to just randomly mm. think of, oh, this would be amazing for I think want. most men are yeah, like that. And, and you know what? Me have mm. made peace with it because I was, I realized there's a point at which you can start to demonize someone for things they haven't done. They don't even know mm. that you wanted them to do them. Like, and the things that they are willing, they would love to show you love yeah. like that, but they just don't know. Yeah. And so me, I'm honestly not tied to that. It's yeah. great. If it's you great. have it, please, you enjoy it. Amazing. Yeah. But if we absolutely like have it. But if you're sitting there being like, why doesn't my man know what to do? Yeah. If you're instructive and you share, like for example, the first birthday, he might not know what to do, but the subsequent birthdays, you see like he got it. Mm. He got it from the first time and now he he does what um what you uh, what, um what, what you, you like. For, yeah. So sometimes we will just need a bit more guidance. Mm. Um let me say one of mine. Um oh when he physically picks me up. So every so often maybe from a shoot. No. <laughs> But uh, that's nice. But no, um, when like when you're hugging or something like that, and then he lifts me onto like his arms like that. Oh, that happens. Ve- oh, <sighs> Joan, <laughs> it's slim privilege. I'm gonna say it. Everybody's thinking oh, it. It's my, slim okay, privilege. Fine. No man what? has ever picked me up. I shouldn't have said that. Fucking way. As, but you know, actually, that you enjoy as soon as I, as soon as I finished the sentence, I felt myself Nancy, be does like, man "Pick him up, pick you up to his waist." Ah, Beryl, does your man pick you up to? You're single, okay. As soon as I said it, you know, anyway, as soon as know, I finished the sentence, I just thought my words like, no, okay. you can't go, go, all go, go, enjoy go. everything. And I should have the grace to enable, allow you guys to enjoy that, you know. Mm. And yet, I'm um, okay. <laughs> let, me, let, let me say another one then. <laughs> when he hugs me and kisses my neck right here. Now somebody who's taller than their man is going to say, <laughs> Short oh. privilege. No. Oh. As, short as privilege. our necks are never seen. <laughs> we can't all have everything. I saw <laughs> someone, I saw someone put on Instagram actually, maybe short people are germs. And I they don't know. <laughs> Like, oh my god oh my okay anyway but, but yeah that's nice. that's that that's a it adds a special thing to um to the hug itself and it's so intimate yeah. oh god or even when he just you know like when you hug and then he like, like tightens like a, or like i don't know ah, like a, oh i'm here with you yeah I love that. You know, another thing that's awesome is like when you're lying in bed and like maybe you've, you, you've been asleep and you mm. both wake up and you've both woken up like at the mm. same time and he just turns over mm. and just like holds you. Oh my God, this is my one. When he wakes up like in the middle of the night yeah. and wraps his arm around me and you know how men always grab your boob. It must be a boob. It has like, to be why? a boob. You could have just held up no, here. Why uh, must it be? Uh, yeah. It must be. It must be a full breast. And a boob. <laughs> there's, oh, there's something about that. Especially in the middle of the night. It's like <laughs> you're in your sleep. You don't even know who you are but you're still yeah. like you on for me. Be, you know, I love that. Oh, I know. God. Yeah. Uh, amazing. I know. <laughs> um, another one. Are great. Someone mm-hmm. is saying, you, I can't believe you haven't said it. She said it's mm-hmm. a thing. Mm-hmm. Money. Oh, yeah. Oh, money. Yeah. Mm. Or ma- somebody who, money in relation to. Ma- not money 
in it on its <laughs> own because a man who like is badly behaved and has money no, no. not a turn money but not generous yeah no, no. Yeah. but a well behaved man who also has, has money. money yeah hey. and gives you money as well yeah. and spends his money on you as well yeah okay have been in relationships with men who can just like just send you like a 50k randomly just to just like oh here go spoil yourself today you're like wow I know there's people who ah. get monthly allowances. Oh wow. 300,000. Oh wow. Is yeah. that you? Do you get a monthly allowance? Yes, I do. <laughs> 300,000. That's me. You guys are working. Oh. Wow. They are actually oh, peasants. peasants. Ew, right? Working for your body. <laughs> this rough. Ew. That's rough. Oh, this one. A man who can plan, think through the details, make contingencies. Mm. This is my stepdad, Tim. That's, he just looks like that oh kind of man. Oh my God. He looks like every person. single trip. Mm. He knows the time every driver is going to pick you up. When the planes are... Wet. I mean, he knows everything. Wow. That's All not the... my man. Really? Uh, <laughs> it's okay. He, was, it's he, have he can't, we can't be everything exactly. Yeah, Ooh, no, no. I don't think my, Mike is like that yeah. as well. He's not, not, not like not, that. He's not been in a situation where he need, they need to... No, but yeah, I feel maybe. like I'm more... When, especially when it comes to things like trips and mm. like things that we're doing as a family or whatever, mm. it'll definitely be me. Mm. When it comes to work, mm. I feel like he's very hands-on there so maybe mm. at home he's just like more relaxed when it comes to and like i feel the, like sometimes when your work is so um intense you mm. want to at home you don't, don't take want that to take that on yeah exactly. but i think it's tim's personality to be that way like that's the thing that he enjoys yeah trip planet da, 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 all of those things um he'll do it i don't think mike is not not that mm. but also he's not that mm. he's, he's just somewhere in the middle he'll, he'll be somewhere. part of the he's planning extreme yeah of like i hear your itinerary i've yes. printed out <laughs> and i have sent it to you via email no. and on whatsapp but he's the reason this is the person who is Flights three hours early. Oh, He's the get. That's my kind of man. Yeah. That's my, yeah. yeah if you yeah. and Zach were together, you'd mm. never make any flights. Oh, God. Yeah. Ever. No. Because yeah. Like, yeah, so, even yeah. me, I'm just like three hours in advance. I'm like, we need to be at the airport. <laughs> to him, three hours before is when he's waking up. I'm just like, He's what not a waste anything. of time. No. Yeah, we can't leave anything to chance. Yeah. Let me tell you something else that I find a mm. major turn on in mm. men. A man with whom you can have intellectually stimulating conversation yeah. and they're contributing effectively to the As conversation. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Anyway, when I show you the video, those ah, things, you know. It's life. But it's like you want to talk about something, even if you're differing, you know, like maybe I have this political view and you have that political yeah. view. Hearing a man speak passionately and knowledgeably about yeah. any topic, it's just like so. It's deaf, especially one I don't mm, know. Exactly. Oh, right? If it's one oh. that I don't know, um, one of the things that feels like, it, it, it's like fizzling in my brain yeah. is when I'm hearing something I don't know. Yeah. So that is already a turn on. Period. Mm. Let alone coming from the person who I'm into or yeah. my man. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a very big turn. I on. love that. I love that. And especially someone mm. who speaks passionately about mm. a topic, which like even especially if you don't know anything about it. Yeah, I like, love that. Say, I mm. love that. Or mm. even if it's a differing mm. viewpoint from yours. Mm. But the fact that you're just talking about it and you can see that they have taken They're time thinking. to think about it and they you know have researched it and it's mm. something they strongly believe. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's very sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing that um I feel like I'm trying to reduce, and this is actually one of the in between us who had said one of the things is that um having very um having controversial debates when they don't involve both of you. Mm. I used to be really into that, but I feel like I'm trying to reduce that with my Wait, man. What do you mean having controversial debates? That, but that don't involve you. Like mm -hmm. for example, now um if I don't know if I killed myself, would the, um and I um and I said it was your fault. Mm. Like now we, we could go into it so passionately, but it doesn't involve us. Yeah. And sometimes oh, you're it's a, arguing. It's a sad party yeah, thing. you guys are, are arguing. About, and and upset each you're other. upset <laughs> each other, but there's nothing, you know? So I'm trying oh, to I reduce because mm. I'm a very passionate person, yeah. if you haven't noticed. Oh, we can tell. So especially with we like views, tell. anything mm. to do with like um women and our right. Woo! Mm -mm. So then now I'm just like, if I hear something and I he think it's controversial, I, 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 let's not go let's Oh, not when go your there. man says something that you're just like, I'm just, are you, are, are you, you fucking, fucking serious? But then now you're just like, is this what about us? The other day that I was just is like, this is this about us? Is this about us? And now yeah. I'm shouting. Yeah. Yeah, so as, as smart says, as they are sometimes. Every time he says something like, yeah, but you know, women are that way. I'm always just like, and, and it's it's never something like <laughs> sensual, beautiful, and successful. Exactly. No, no, no. It's, it's always like an emotional or someone having a tantrum yeah. or something. Ah, like, you know, when I like look that. at them. I'll be like, you know. And do you want some dinner? Yeah. You want some dinner? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you, you gotta just go for divert sometimes. Exactly. It's not all the time <laughs> that we need to have those kind of debates. Um, another time is um another thing is when my man tells me that he's proud of me. Oh wow. 
Or yeah. I could have a full orgasm just based on that alone. I'm telling you, like just yeah. the thought, or if it could be something like, you know, or you're working so hard or maybe I'm really tired. That is, in, instead of just kind of just seeing that I'm tired, mm. you'll just kind of recognize the effort I'm putting into my work mm. and just be like, oh, you're working so hard. I'm really proud of you. Who? I know. Just, <laughs> just, just say, what, I mean, whatever you want here by We friend, hear you say. <laughs> When Zach comes and tells me something like, you're such a good mom. You're, mm. The kids are so lucky to have you as a mom. I'm just like... Okay, n- now this one. is You're just pushing it, <sighs> brother, friend. I know, right? It's, I just feel so nice. It so just feels nice. so good. I just like, I know. I really put in effort, baby. And it's so now good. Look like, at you. you see? Now look at uh, you. Women. Women. <laughs> women. <laughs> women. There they are. Yet yeah, again. It feels really nice. It yeah. feels really nice when they appreciate that. And to be recognized. And um, because there are actually a lot of people... Um, what, what topic did we have? Oh, I think it was on my page. Sorry, it was a live that I was doing. And people were saying a lot of their fears is that they get into a relationship with a man. And, you know, men just want slavery. Like, men just want to, I don't know, sit on your head. All of these, like, really intense things. Mm. And I feel like it, for me, is, is a special significance when my man not only recognizes um, the effort I put into building my own personal life, not just life with him, mm. but the fact that he appreciates it and he's proud of me for it, you know? Yeah. Because I think too many women always feel like they have to sacrifice. Yeah, it's you either sacrifice you are other, yeah. doing really well in your career or you're, you're progressing or you're a mom. You can't have both, which yeah. is not true. Absolutely. Agree yeah, so you. there's there's something that I, I, I... It makes me proud of my choice mm. in him. In him? Yeah. Okay. Here we are. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Just shut it. Shut it. Oh. <laughs> Do you want me to leave the set? Do you want me to leave this? You know, we'll talk about Whatever. this. We'll talk about this after. <laughs> leave okay. me alone. Let me tell you something else. I find such a turn on. Active listening. When like you're just sitting and you're talking to him about something like, mm. oh, babe, you know what happened today? Lydia, mm. she was even doing this or whatever. And they're just actively listening to you. They're not doing anything else. They're just looking at you and listening to you. Mike is a very good listener. I love that. Zach, Zach it's not his strong point, mm. but like he puts he in effort. On it. Like yeah. He works on it. It's Which like he'll fine. intentionally put his phone away and mm. listen to me yeah. and like respond to what mm. I'm saying and give me solutions and mm. like we'll have the conversation. I find that so just like, it's just a part of my soul that I just feel so heard, you know, just so, so heard, good. so listened to, so focused upon, you and know. And most of the times I don't even I want it. I don't want a solution. I don't want to, I just want you to most hear. Most of the time, I just want yeah. you to hear what I'm going through yeah. so that I now feel like we are going through it. Exactly. Together. Together. Us. Yeah. There's a time when <laughs> me and Joanne were going through something. Oh, woo! Mm. Our men listened. Woo! Our yeah. men, our men would really <laughs> listen, and they, they kept through. giving us all of this advice. We would, be on, we would be on on video call, and like Zach them is saying, here, Mike is there, and, like, and, and can you believe and that? And, and, I mean, I, it's just, and then you'll hear Mike saying, "Oh yeah, um, but also, you know, have you guys thought about this?" And it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, to be honest, I feel like we were, feel like we were going through that as a group. All of us, all yeah. of us going eh, through eh, it. Yeah. And I think that's the beauty of being with someone mm. is that your your problems become theirs, your good things become theirs, exactly. etc. That's a really good one. And your help, it's like you're carrying each other. Yeah, you're holding each other's hands through life, and it's just a beautiful thing. Um, mm. another person said vulnerability. No. Hmm? Yeah. Um. So the way the vulnerability I feel with that a turn is, on. I mean, it's nice, but is it a turn on? Like uh, you're I, turned your turned on. Volume is already at Sorry. max, babe. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Um. Continue. So the, what I find vulnerable is not necessarily vulnerable. Like um. When when someone is crying, I find that that's meaningful, right? But not necessarily like now. I want to jump your guns right now, right? Mm. But it could be a vulnerability like self-assessing you know when he has self-assesses and says something about himself that's not exactly a it's not a strength mm. but he's willing to like look in and be like do you know what? maybe the way i handled that wasn't right because of you know and they're just self-assessing mm. they're just saying a point but that vulnerability to be able to be like i'm not perfect or this is a weakness and i could do this with i find that really attractive yeah, I find it. Re- I find it att- okay. Mm. I find it okay. Mm. Like mm. it's attractive. I guess mm. how it is, how it's attractive. Yeah. Oh, it's like a quality that you'd want in a man. Mm. But I definitely would not categorize it as a turn on. Oh, but for me, that that part. It's not a like turn the, on. Yes, it makes the, you wet. It makes like, you wet. Yeah, like when when he finishes self-assessing and saying something like that, I'm just like, wow. 
Oh, like I, I, I find I think most men don't have the ability. Yeah. They just don't. They don't ever stop to really think like maybe it was you in all those relationships <laughs> when all the women are Perhaps. crying. Perhaps okay, it was you. To do some you know, the ability to do that self reflection and mm. just be able to admit something like that. Mm. I always feel so much like I see strength in that, and obviously strength is sexy. I guess so. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't see so much strength in that, but anyway, okay. you know, um, another old. one is um when I feel safe around him. Hmm? Do you feel safe? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but I mean I'm, I'm just being yeah. careful to distinguish between what's, what's attractive what's a and nice what's thing a and what's on. a turn on. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, we, okay, I get it from the sense of like when you feel like your man, like when your man does something to actively protect you. Yeah, you know, like when you're like, in a club and something happens, and, something and, he's happens like, and he's like, oh, babe, 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 no, you know, yeah. or, or kind of thing, or he's or like, like, oh, you walk on the No, don't talk to, don't talk to, yeah. Okay, yeah, those things, that, that's a turn on, exactly. <laughs> or like, for example, you're, I don't know, you're about to trip somewhere and he's like, oh, wait, look out. You know, like something which is like, pro- yeah. it's like protecting me. That's yeah. a turn on. That's like really nice. So I guess that could be like, you feel safe around him. There's one thing, yeah, this, um, this happened just before me and Mike were like together, together. Mm. And I, I I think, I don't know if I told you, there was a little incident, a minor little incident at our parking where I lived. And this guy, like he was such an angry guy. Mm. And he kind of st- tried to kind of bully the situation mm. and um, I, we had to actually take his car to the garage yeah. it was literally like this yeah and his car was basically like a dump right <laughs> but whatever whatever i'll whatever. give it to you right whatever. Mm. and he kind of started to physically intimidate me right and i remember i called mike i was just like I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to handle this because this guy is making me feel scared to live mm. in my building. Mm. And Mike came and just, just kind of handled it, um, went to the garage, everything. And I was just like, yeah. In fact, we can sum that up as like a man who handles things. Yeah. Especially just, the ones when you feel like, you know, you're yeah, like, ah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I saw some video on Instagram where I think like, when my man is not home and yeah. it's like a woman doing all this heavy lifting <laughs> in the house, <laughs> the second your man is home, it's like, babe, can you help me lift this pillow? Oh, it's yeah. just so heavy. Yeah. It just feels nice. It like feels a man amazing. who just handles, handles things, you know? Yeah. yeah it feels that. really good. Um, Are these mine? Me, I've said Asia. mine. Even me, yeah. me, I finished mine. You also. have somebody yeah. else also said a good um sense of humor. They always say you'll be laughing <laughs> out of your pants. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know if my my man is funny sense of humor is like, like yeah. that. I think it's it mu- it must be nice to have like that's somebody yeah, who constantly but makes I wouldn't you laugh say all even the time. in my list of like things of like this is what I look for mm. in a man. Being able to like uh, appreciate humor is yeah, mm. but I don't need you to be a recommendation in my relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's like we can be able to like laugh about things. Yeah, and, like, you're able to appreciate the humor of life. Yeah, but you don't have to be a yeah. clown. I laugh quite a lot mm. anyway. So you're I don't a think- funny person. <laughs> You are a funny, funny oh, really? person. I find you a very funny person. Yeah, you are funny as well. I'm always laughing when I'm with I'm you. I'm always laughing when I'm with yeah, you. So yeah, so I feel like I laugh a lot anyway. So yeah. I don't know if you need to be, yeah, I don't know, doing like miming things. <laughs> no, for but they me can to appreciate laugh. humor. You need people to appreciate humor. Not the kind of person yeah. who's just like, you know, like yeah. we are not. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anytime no, you try and laugh, exactly. Yeah, that that's no. weird. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody um said honesty and openness. Um, somebody said cleanness. Hygiene. Oh, that's an important one. Oh my god. Hygiene is, is that an a turn important on? one. I would say I think it's a turn on. Yeah, I, but mean, I mean, when I, I, when I see you washing the cup, I'm like, oh, there, there goes. Ah, wash that cup, you bad boy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Some oh, when he showers, like that's good. nice. But it's I don't really great like, that you're. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> it's a bare minimum. We expect this from all adult humans. Actually, all yeah. humans. Period. You yeah, should. I guess so. Yeah. 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 But yeah. a man doing housework that could be a bit of a turn on. I find it because of the fact that he he doesn't need to do housework that often. I guess yeah. once in a while when like the nanny is not there and I find mm. him washing the dishes, mm. I'm just like. Ooh. I think I I find the fact that he's he's being helpful, mm. right? Um, not to say that you know it's all it's on me, mine. but mm. I feel like there's uh, especially let's say something I've started doing. Let's say I would just want to clean up, and then he somehow does something else to be helpful yeah. about it without you having yes. to ask. Can you please get up and <laughs> fucking wipe the floor? Yeah, I mean if you just I does think it, that's I think the thing. Yeah, that's it's attractive. nice. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, that one cooking. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if mm. I, I want to rip his clothes off because he's cooking. Yeah. But that's nice. Yeah. It also depends on the dynamic in your relationship. Mm. Like, do you, does he frequently cook? Is it you who usually cooks? Is it's it like, true. I mean, it depends on the dynamic, I think I would say. You it does. like you guys, you guys just leave the two of you. One of you has to cook. Yeah. It's required. Otherwise, mm. you will starve. One of you must cook. So it's not necessarily like, oh, when I see you cooking, it makes me wet. 
Yeah, I definitely obviously cook a lot more than he does. Do but you? Because yeah. in the recent, those this is past two months. Because I said, We've just like, those Mike, two Mike, months. Mike. In fact, you, when you cook, it's a special date. The day Mike posts the food, I'm like, oh, Lydia finally cooked. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I had a bit of a moment. Yeah. And I was just like, mm. I didn't even realize that yeah. I wasn't cooking mm. because there was food. But yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe um, cooking is another one. Oh, this one, some said an emotional partner. Not for Joanne. No. <laughs> Plus, even for you, you don't want an emotional... You want someone who's in touch with his emotions, but not an emotional partner. I actually find that the, the fact that Mike is less mo emotional than me is mm. wh why we work. Exactly. Deep down inside, I feel like I'm annoyed at that Do fact. you want to date a Pisces? Mm? You want to be with a Pisces? No. That's what you want? No. Oh. Yeah. Every day when we get home, it's just like, how are you feeling? Let's yeah. talk about our feelings. Let's but, cry. But can I Let's cry something? together. Can I tell you something? What? Uh, oh, now unfortunately I can't share too much about yeah. it. But anyway, when um when if my man is like in a, where if we are both in an emotional situation, obviously yeah. I'm like okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whatever, yeah. And it's up and he's holding it, holding it, holding it. Then and then maybe he, like a ooh. teardrop. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I feel that. And you it's know, like, now we're in this together. Yeah. Yeah. so much. And oh, then you just feel I like love a, that, yeah. Trrr. And you can tell, yeah. The drops, I will take them. I told you, I'm willing to take the drops. <gasps> okay, I'm not yeah. willing to take them. No, it's this one. It's the... No, yeah, it's no the and then... That's it. Yeah, exactly. Done. Two dubs. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't wipe. <laughs> wipe you, your man. Look at you. <laughs> dub. Then dub again. <laughs> Oh That's it. I'm done. A tear and two dabs. Two dabs and we are mm. done. Thank and you. We are done. Um, <laughs> a partner who, who keeps his word, um, yeah. as you said, intellectual mm. conversations. Yeah. I think that's it. Thank you guys for sharing yours. Mm. And please... Let us know in the comments because, I mean, obviously, clearly, the, the definition... And big, when we say turn-ons, we mean something that makes you wet. Okay, we're not talking about just something... Which something is just, that's great. Which is great. Yeah. You know, it's just like something which actually mm. you're just like, mm, I want to get it on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mm. yeah. Please let us know some of your turn-ons as well. Even the controversial ones or even the ones that maybe... I don't know, but we've never heard of. Yeah, um, just let us know mm. down in the comments below, guys. And we appreciate you so much um, for always guys. having these kind of conversations yeah. with us. And especially, thank you so much, guys, for sending us all these. I mean, it's so funny being able to see you guys' point of view because yeah. you're always hearing ours. So if you guys are able to contribute to the conversation, we love it so much. Mm. Make sure you're following us on Instagram as well, TMI Podcast KE, so we can continue the conversations there. <laughs> Ching, ching, ching. I feel like it's not a complete TMI episode if we mm. don't have wine. If we don't have Leda Mir, it's but like, who are we? she's like the who third, the third babe. Yeah, and today this our, is where mm. we have my favorite, which is the sweet rosé. Yeah, mm. the sun chaser. This is like, I would say my second favorite. I think my first favorite is definitely the white. You said? Yeah. yeah. But I'm actually, rosé is growing on me. Rosé is a life. Mm. Yeah, I've always been into rosé even when I was like younger. Mm. Um, but this one is is a good balance of sweet. I don't like it when it's too sweet. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Actually, there's some rosés that I've tasted that are too, too sweet. sweet. The Le Damia one is the perfect. Sweetness. I feel like it's just there, sweet enough for mm. you to feel like mm. it's almost like juice, but also it's like there's, there's, a sting. there's like mm, there's, there's a, a bit of a sting. <laughs> Definitely, I don't know if this is something positive to <laughs> say, but every time we take a sip, we are like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Quanta, the first sip of oh the day. Oh, my God. The first God. sip of the day, we're like, just oh, like, oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ledamia, for giving us the vibes. Thank we you for the, the vibes. vibes. We love the vibes. Mm -hmm. All right. So for TMI Talk today, we got this um, question that we wanted to be able to address here. Um, remember, you can always send us your dilemmas that you're experiencing on um, our Instagram page, TMI Podcast KE, or on Lydia KM, or on Murugi Muni. We always respond to you guys, or we do our best to respond in a timely manner, yeah. don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, sp we spend a lot of time on DMs, by the way. <laughs> Believe it or not. I would don't. actually say that's like maybe 30% of oh, our girl, time where it goes. Oh, girl. Oh, so girl. Yeah. It's a lot. It's mm -hmm. a lot. Um, so this lady says, hey, ladies, thank you for the good work you're doing. You're welcome. So here's my question. A friend of mine decided to form a group of friends. That is her friends with me included. Let's call her Mary. We are a group of 10. Also, none of us knew each other. So the only person connecting all of us is Mary. Okay, you got you together so far? I'm with it. Okay, fine. We've had a few meetups with the girls, but lately I've been feeling like it's a task to me every time we are planning to meet. It feels like work. I don't know the exact words, but I feel like I'm trying too hard to be part of the group. Also, I do not have many friends, just a few. I feel like quitting the group, but then again, I still need to have friends. Please advise. 
I feel like anytime Ooh. when you have to force it, mm. let me tell you this. Yeah, like sometimes you you could even forget this one where it's just like these are new people. Mm. That could happen with somebody who's in your life. Like mm. every time, like you used to enjoy being around this person or you should, used to enjoy being around these people. But then lately, every time you even think about getting dressed to go where they are, you're just like, oh, I'm so tired. Must I do this, yeah. you know? And personally, I don't think it's worth it the it's worth the effort mm. you know me at my grown 31 eight years old i don't know if it's um worth the effort you're 31 you didn't know that's a lot and you're 32 oh whoa. okay sorry continue <laughs> continue with your point <laughs> Um, but yeah, mm. so um, I I don't think the point is to just have people around when you feel like you don't feel when you don't feel good about them. Mm. Maybe you can select in the group mm. if there are people who you actually do positively gravitate towards, and maybe it's just like this group thing that's making mm. you feel like ugh, you yeah. know? Um, because a lot of the times it's like the the massness that sometimes removes intimate connections. Mm. You can find who in there you actually care about, and maybe develop that. I agree. I also mm. really don't find that I appreciate group dynamics that much because yeah. I feel like there's this element of conformity that mm -hmm. groups naturally naturally in groups yeah. there, there's some sort of form of mm. conformity that is required or mm. almost expected of anyone mm. in the group so I totally get that I get you not wanting to maybe seem like okay I don't want to be with you guys kind of thing and like maybe you, you feel like yay thank you she's introduced me to, to more yeah. people especially if you have been wanting friends but I feel like Send her a message. I would do this. I would just like send her a message. Just say, hey, thank you so much for having added me to this group. I really enjoyed the time that I've spent with these people. But right now, I'm just not able to continue being part of the group. I feel like you don't need to ex start explaining that, oh, you know, these days I just don't feel mm, so whatever. Yeah. Just say, I'm not able to continue to be part of the group anymore and then exit the group. Mm. Then as Lydia has said, if mm. there are a few people who maybe you've connected with mm. and you want to continue being friends with, then I think you should just pursue those connections like one-on-one -on -one or one-to-one. -one. Yeah. And yeah. I feel so sad that, you know, somebody would be thinking about like, should I leave? something i really don't like because mm. i don't have friends you know um, yeah. and also i feel because we come the families we are in i mm. feel like my sister is always like my best company yeah like i feel like i could i, I, I don't ever want to have to tolerate that because i feel like oh you know my best friend is here yeah. but i can appreciate it. and especially with the older you get the more people are already in their own cliques and mm. they're already doing their own thing so you feel like you know where do i start now it's and if tough, i say no yeah. to this then i'm on my own but i feel like there's definitely ways you can navigate around them without losing everything yeah um but still keep your authenticity and keep feeling good about exactly, the friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, if it's not something that you're feeling right now, mm. you should not have to make any apologies for it. Just mm. exit. Now just exit. Tell the babe and just exit. Yeah. And then, yeah, hang out in places where you can meet friends. I also struggled with making friends for a really long time in my late 20s. Actually, oh, throughout my 20s mostly because of my toxic relationship where it was just the two of us mm. hanging out together forever. Always just the two of us. <laughs> no one else ever. Um, and then in my late 20s, I feel like it was just a hectic time in my life. It was like getting married, being pregnant, having a small baby, being pregnant again, having Having another small baby then it's only like almost like at 30 when now we met in Hebrews mm. when I was like oh okay now I have a life now I'm a person and mm. I can do things and that's so for that whole period I was just like I felt so lonely Oh, that's in so, so many ways yeah mm. so I get that I get that mm. feeling but like you just have to try and now go out do things that you like join Rotary do, go to the gym I don't know go out to clubs yeah. go for these after work events that you're always declining the networking ones go yeah. and network mm. and you know meet people kind of thing but yeah, yeah definitely don't stay just because you need friends because there's true. no point having just any friends you, you want, want friends you genuinely connect friends. with and who yeah. you like yeah. I actually had um, a lonely time now that and I think about it is when I first moved to Kenya in mm. 2016 mm. for that whole year I um, for one whole year, I had one friend. This Now my other friends, like, mm. I mean, my family, mm. but then otherwise, it was just this one friend for a whole, actually, more than a, a year and a half. But until you're so my, good at I meet, meeting people and But things. there yeah. was a very big difference. There was oh, a culture clash when I first ah, came yeah. here, right? And mm -hmm. also the experience when, you know, you're new, like you don't know much. It's not, you're not necessarily always received like open arms. It's sometimes a bit more like, mm, mm. you are a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it was like a year and a half of literally not just having that one friend. Yeah. But I've never been able to force friends. So it's like, even if we're just talking about people and I just don't want to be around them, I'd rather be at my, my house mm -hmm. and just chilling yeah. and FaceTime someone or whatever else yeah exactly so that must be tough but yeah. anyway all the best babe mm -hmm. we hope that you are able to exit this group with no drama or little drama well, I hope so and I hope this your this your married <laughs> friend understands yeah, as well yeah I hope she gets she understands what it is that you're saying and yeah. just allows you to live gracefully please yeah alright then girl all the best girl mm -hmm. and if you have any more advice for her please let us know in the comments or you can DM us also on Instagram and we can pass on the information to her we hope we've helped you with your issue and that brings us to the end of another episode I've lost track 
What episode uh, are you on now? 44. 44. Are you sure? 100%. Nance, <laughs> episode 44. Fantastic. Is it? Even how she's... Are you sure, You're babe? You're sure? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Episode Whatever it 44. is, we are grown adults now. We are, are grown, grown adults. We, we are grown in mid forties. Mid forties, honey. Past midlife crisis. Now we, we are. No, now we're in old age. We are approaching old age. I You're know. really nodding very confidently. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> he's like, he's like. Wow. Anyway, guys, before you leave here, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Honestly, please, please. It supports us so much. We are so close to 50K and we would love, we would love for you guys to be part of yeah. our group. We'd love for you to be an in-betweener. So yeah. please subscribe. Mm. Please subscribe, guys. And thank you so much for supporting our podcast always. We are slowly coming towards a year and we want to do something very special. If you have any ideas, we already mm. know you guys have said live episode. You've said. You've said. You have been and you're in Akuja. saying you're in, you're in Akuja. Akuja. Mm. But um, anything else you think would be super special to do with you guys from between us to celebrate a year of TMI please there's no slide in our DMs wherever we want to have some ideas so we can do something we can do something so big and something you guys love special absolutely yes ching ching see ya bye, bye.